Hey, I'm Trisha. Welcome to the first in a series of episodes where I basically experiment in my kitchen and try and come up with my own recipes. For my first episode, I'm going to attempt to make a paleo cereal. Um, I've been looking for a recipe online and haven't found a whole lot. Um, I found some kind of granola-ish type things where they're uh, made with mostly nuts and sesame seeds. But I did find one recipe for a kind of little cereal balls um, that looked really good, but they were made with mostly almond flour. So I'm going to try and come up with my own version that doesn't have quite so much almond flour in it. Um, and that has a little bit more shredded coconut to replace some of the almond flour and I'm not even going to really look at a recipe, I'm just going to go for it and see what I come up with. Um, it may be a disaster, um, hopefully I will come up with a decent recipe for you guys and if not, hopefully it's at least entertaining. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is line these two pans with parchment. Um, I'm just using these 13 by 9 cake pans. Cookie sheets would probably work much better, um, but my cookie sheets are missing. I don't know how that happens. And I'm going to spray a little bit of oil just to help the parchment stick. Oh, I've got my two parchment lined pans ready to go. Here's what I've gathered from my ingredients. We've got coconut oil, coconut sugar, cinnamon, almond flour, eggs, shredded unsweetened coconut, and some chia seeds. I think that's everything I have on hand that makes sense to put in this cereal. Um, I was thinking I could put some pumpkin seeds, but my pumpkin seeds all have shells on and I don't feel like doing that right now. So. This is what's gonna go in there. And you know what, I think I'm gonna go with some coconut flour too. I forgot that. So I'm gonna start with about a half a cup of my almond meal. And I'm just gonna do a tablespoon of coconut flour because I know a little goes a long way with that. I think I'm gonna do a quarter cup of coconut sugar. quarter cup of chia seeds. I think I'm going to do a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. I feel like this needs some spice. Okay, so that's it for our dry ingredients. Got a really nice looking uh, mix of dry ingredients here. I'm going to start with just one egg um, and see how the batter looks and then add more if needed. I'm running out of everything today. So to start here I've got two tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm going to whisk that with my egg. Alright, so I have my dry ingredients and I'm going to mix in my egg, one egg and my uh, coconut oil and we'll see what happens and if it seems too dry, I'll add more, more uh, something. <laughs> Okay, so it's definitely a little too dry. So I've got one more egg white here. I add that in. So here's what I've got. I know it doesn't look that appetizing, um, but it's. I think it's going to be good. It doesn't smell bad. Now I'm going to form all this into 
small little balls and uh, fill my pans here. Oh, and I'm gonna preheat the oven. I'm gonna go with 350. So before I started eating paleo, I was really bad about not eating breakfast most of the time. Um, so I didn't actually eat cereal that much. It's not something I've really missed. But um, now that I'm eating breakfast every day, I find myself sometimes getting really sick of eggs. And if I have, you know, leftovers from dinner or something, I'll do that. But if not, it's, it's eggs. It's either eggs and bacon or frittata or something with eggs. And um, sometimes that just does not sound good to me. So I like the idea of having, you know, once or twice a week having another option for breakfast. If the idea of rolling all these tiny little balls um, is kind of turning you off to the idea of making this, um, you could totally just spread it on the pan and break it up into little pieces later if it gets crispy enough, we'll see. But um, basically I'm just a crazy person and decided to do it this way. I'm also kind of pressing them down um, so that they're more like flat little discs um, because I feel like they will be more likely to get more dried out and kind of crunchy that way. Okay, so when you're done, if you uh, rolled your cereal in little discs like me, which should exactly fill these two pans, which I'm taking as a sign that these are going to turn out amazing. Um, <laughs> and your hands should look like this. Now that my hands are clean, I can show you what these look like before they go in the oven. So here are my two pans of cereal. I would say I rolled them into about half inch balls and then just flattened them to about a quarter inch thick discs um, to help them dry out and get crispier. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. These 10 minutes to start and then I'm gonna check on them. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna pull these out and see how they look. Okay, they're definitely cooked through. There's still a little moisture in the middle. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them about five more minutes and then I'm gonna turn off the oven temperature and let them sit for a while and that'll help them dry out. So now they've been in the oven a total of 15 minutes. So let's take a look. All right, they're starting to get pretty brown on the bottom. Not burnt, but I wouldn't want them to brown anymore. So I think I'm going to turn off the oven. I'm actually gonna flip them over. <laughs> Which is just adding to the crazy, I realize. Always should not do this with your hands like I am. Um, my hands are pretty heat resistant, but probably be better to use a spatula. And um, probably if you pull them out, or if you turn the oven off, I'd say about two minutes earlier, you wouldn't have to do this. Um, but I'm doing this so I can put them back in the oven and let them sit while the oven cools. And that's going to help them dry out. And I don't want the bottoms to burn. Here's a nice one. And you can see the bottoms were starting to brown. Um, they're not burnt at all, but um, I worry that if, the, if they sat against the hot pan any longer that they might start to burn. So I flipped them over. I'm gonna put them back in the oven, which is off, and let them sit while the oven cools. And I'm gonna check them in like about a half an hour. Okay, my timer just went off. Let's take another look at these. Here we go. They're pretty well dried out. You can hear it snap. Let's see. They're crunchy. They taste like cereal. They remind me of something, but I can't think of what it is. I 
like it. I'm going to go with success on this. They're kind of a lot of work. Um, but, I mean, it's worth doing every once in a while just to have, like, a little a little treat. I'd say they're pretty healthy. I mean, there's um, only, in all of this, there was only three tablespoons of coconut sugar. That's the only sweetener I put in. They're not super sweet. I never really like sweetened cereal that much, except Lucky Charms. Mm. But, um... <laughs> You know, I would eat really plain cereal and um, stuff like that. So these are just a little bit sweet, which is which is nice. All right, so I made myself a little bowl of my cereal with some almond milk, and I'm gonna go eat it now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time with another experimental recipe. Bye. I've got my two parchment lined pans ready to go. Here's what I've gathered from my ingredients. We've got coconut oil, coconut sugar, cinnamon, almond flour, eggs, shredded unsweetened coconut, and some chia seeds. I think that's everything I have on hand that makes sense to put in this cereal. Um, I was thinking I could put some pumpkin seeds, but my pumpkin seeds all have shells on and I don't feel like doing that right now. So this is what's going to go in there. And you know what, I think I'm going to go with some coconut flour too. I forgot that. So I'm going to start with about a half a cup of my almond meal and I'm just going to do a tablespoon of coconut flour because I know a little goes a long way with that. I think I'm going to do a quarter cup of coconut sugar. chia seeds. I think I'm going to do a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. I feel like this needs some spice. Okay, so that's it for our dry ingredients. Got a really nice looking uh, mix of dry ingredients here. Okay, so I'm going to start with just one egg. Um, and see how the batter looks and then add more if needed. I'm running out of everything today. So to start here I've got two tablespoons of coconut oil. And I'm going to whisk that with my egg. Hi, I'm Trisha. Welcome to the first in a series of episodes where I basically experiment in my kitchen and try and come up with my own recipes. For my first episode, I'm going to attempt to make a paleo cereal. Um, I've been looking for a recipe online and haven't found a whole lot. Um, I found some kind of granola-ish type things where they're uh, made with mostly nuts and sesame seeds. But I did find one recipe for a kind of little cereal balls um, that looked really good, but they were made with mostly almond flour. So I'm going to try and come up with my own version that doesn't have quite so much almond flour in it um, and that has a little bit more shredded coconut to replace some of the almond flour and I'm not even going to really look at a recipe. I'm just going to go for it and see what I come up with. Um, it may be a disaster. Um, hopefully I will come up with a decent recipe for you guys and if not, hopefully it's at least entertaining. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is line these two pans with parchment. Um, I'm just using these 13 by 9 cake pans. 
cookie sheets would probably work much better, um, but my cookie sheets are missing. I don't know how that happens. And I'm gonna spray a little bit of oil just to help the parchment stick.